stop using slide templates like these. Why? Because they don't do anything. They hurt learning. And they squish everything together. Let's take a look. Okay, two slides. One with a slide template and another without. Now look at the one above. This is SSI. They've got their logo in here. They've got their branding, quality, service, reliability. They're very proud of what they do. And so they use this slide template in all their training. Is that a problem? Or is that good? It's a problem. Let's look. There, they're demonstrating a software package, perhaps, uh, and they have to squish it down as opposed to using the whole screen where there's no slide template. And that causes them, their smaller image in the slide template loses 56% of the screen area compared to the larger image with no slide template. So number one, people may not be able to read what they've written there. 56% loss, that's like more than half. There's no white space. White space enables us to guide our learners' attention to the most important materials. There can be eye strain. There can be distraction. This may be a beautiful graphic interface, logo, etc. But if it pulls attention away from the learning material, that's a problem. Well, perhaps we could pretty it up a bit, make it more narrow. Well, here they do. They do that. They add a little copyright at the bottom, but the screen image has to stay the same size. And again, they're losing 56% loss of screen geography. A big problem. Now, here's another way to look at it. We can measure the vertical. So instead of being able to use 100% of the vertical with the slide template, we can only use about 65% of it. Again, a loss of white space, a loss of the ability to build an aesthetic, beautiful slide that guides learners' attention to the most important aspects of it. Let's look at some research. This is from the uh, Journal of Experimental Psychology, Human Perception and Performance. Most natural visual environments contain more information than we can process in detail at once. As a consequence, to process a visual scene efficiently, we must select the behaviorally relevant portions for further processing while ignoring the behaviorally irrelevant parts. This is a, a natural characteristic of human perception. Whenever we're looking at something, we need to separate the wheat from the chaff. We have to expend processing res resources to focus on the things that are most important while ignoring the things that are less important. Why would we then add distractions to the things that we want people to use their visual perception on? Not a good idea. Now, let's stipulate though that after a time, people will begin to be able to be less distracted by these uh, slide templates that we're using if we use the same one. Here's again from the Journal of Experimental Psychology. Uh, when distractor configurations are repeated over time, visual search becomes more efficient, even if participants are unaware of the repetition. So, uh, we're not saying that it's always a super distraction. It can get less over time. One other thing to focus on. This is, again, from the first journal, Journal of Experimental Psychology, Human Perception and Performance. Our findings demonstrate that knowing what not to look for can be used to configure attention to avoid certain features. Yikes! What that means is that if you utilize your brand, your logo, in your slide template, you may actually be training your learners, your audience, 
to ignore your logo, to ignore your brand. Is that what you want? I don't think so. Let's look at what some expert presenters do. Steve Jobs, known as one of the best business presenters of all time. Does he use a slide template? I think not. Okay, here he is. There's one of his slides in the background. There's another slide. You can see him in the front there. He does not do it. Now, occasionally, he will inject the Apple brand, but he doesn't feel he has to do it on every slide. Guy Kawasaki, another one of the brilliant presenters. Here's one of his slides. Very simple. Do you see any slide template? No. Here's another one. Do you see a slide template? No. Here's Tom Peters. Not a great picture of him, but there we have it. He likes colors. In the Army, three-star generals worry about training. In most businesses, it's a ho-hum mid-level staff function. Training merits C-level status. Top trainers should be paid a king's ransom and be of the same caliber as the top marketers or researchers. Hey, go Tom. Do you see any slide templates? No, he doesn't use them. Here's some other slides. Now these have won awards. Okay, you'll see the Sustainable Food Laboratory has put their logo on their very first slide, but is it on their other slides? No. It is not. Here's a presentation called What the F star star K is social media now? I'll let you read that. Do they use slide templates? No. The shift happens, folks. Do they use slide templates? No. The U.S. Department of Labor estimates that today's learner will have 10 to 14 jobs by the age of 38. Slide templates? No. There's the shift happen stuff. There's their details. This one was compiled by David S. Rose with lots of help. By the way, this is the version 6 of this slide deck, but in not one of these versions did they use slide templates. Okay, now here's a slide from Mozilla, the folks that make Firefox. You'll notice they snuck in some branding up there at the top right-hand corner. Now, they've kept most of the screen geography there and sacrosanct, but they have added that there. And you can see that they did it on all their slides in this deck. Uh, now, I'm not sure they need it, but I'm not going to be a purist about this. There may be times when it's important and valuable to put it up there. Okay, let's go to the movies. Have you ever been to a movie where they use a slide template? This is the movie Avatar. I think it would be much more effective if they've added a little slide template, don't you? Hmm, probably not. Doesn't look so good. Okay, well, what about The Wizard of Oz? Maybe, maybe there should have been some logo on there, you know? I think. Let's take a look. Oh, that's beautiful. I, I think the movie would have been much better if they would have added that. Hmm, probably not. Okay, let's summarize. We know that slide templates enable less screen geography, harder to see the target information, the target visuals that we want people to actually learn from. There's less white space, so we're less able to direct learners' attention to the most important parts of the materials. They're distracting. They're unsightly. Uh, plaid pants, striped shirt. Yeah, they're a design disaster. Don't do it. Please. Stop using slide templates. I beg of you. Please stop. This is Dr. Will Tallheimer signing off thanking you for your time and your interest and go out and take all the damn slide templates off your slide decks and have some fun.